I be stacking up chips like Lego. Badass bitch bag matching my stilettos. In it full of paper, same color as a gecko. I'm laying on the boat across the water where the deck low. Rolling up some petrol. I ain't got no service. Still, I got my metro. Don't need no disturbance. Drowning me, I let go. I'm floating to the surface. These niggas set you up slow and take you down on purpose. Facts. What's up, everybody? Hey, Mama. What's Hello. up, my beautiful queen? Hello, queen. How are you? I'm doing good today. A little bit on the uh, and hit the button, but hey, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna get fired over a button. But anyways, this is the music shop, and today we have on Jana Rochelle. Rochelle, right? Did I say yes. it right? Yes. Ro Rochelle. Yep. Yeah. So, oh, thank you, Jesus, for once. I, <laughs> I will screw everybody's name up on the show before the show, usually after I got it good. <laughs> but beforehand, I'm sorry, people. I just, you know, blame it on the bleach. But oh my God, I'm so happy <laughs> to have you today. I know, right? I keep yeah, it real. I'm so excited. Woke, 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 girl. Oh my God. When I came across you, your husband reached out to me and he's like, yo, let me put my, um, Actually, he didn't say husband, but I kind of put two and two together. But he's like, I got an artist for you. And I'm like, well, who you got? Because, you know, he's one of my Facebook friends and he pops up with you. And I'm like, OK, OK, let me go check it out. Let me see this artist, you know. And um, I, I get up there and I'm, I'm listening to one track and I'm like, whoa, she killed it. I was like, oh, my God. I was Thank like, I you. love her. And then I got to the next track. And I said, what? Uh-uh. That's no, 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 no. Hold on. No, no, no. That's not her. I said, are you serious? Thank you. Girl, got to the third track. I said, all right. I was like, you are a star. I'm like, oh, my God. I am going to love to have this woman on my stage. She is talented, creative, imaginable woke we are woke on the show <laughs> i don't know if everybody come on gonna be as woke but we woke <laughs> yes. and i'm just like wow you know like you are seasoned you are polished you are ready to go and and the fact that you're versatile everybody versatile yes you can go different ways from yes. one spectrum to the other which we're gonna hear tonight and, and and it's just like wow, I I I can't wait to let my network hear you because I know my network is gonna be like oh my god I love her and I'm like I'm like no I know right <laughs> she's like me too <laughs> Ooh, yes Thank and I've, you. I've girl I have been talking to everybody I'm like bro I cannot wait for this weekend I cannot wait for Friday's show because I have an amazing guest that's going to be on. And we're going to get to be able to hear her music. We're going to be able to get to see her beautiful glow because you are just glistening tonight. Oh, and yeah, you. and 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 just wake everybody up to one, your music, two, your message in your music, your passion, your inspiration, and the fact that you've been doing this now for like over a decade. Yeah, been about, like, uh, about 15 years. Oh my god! <laughs> Been a long time. <laughs> you know, start off with telling everybody where you're from because I, I got to do that. Yes. So I am originally from a very small town called Zanesville, Ohio. Um, so in between Zanesville and Columbus, Ohio, most of my life. Um, and then yeah, I met my husband. Um, I left from here when I was 18. Moved to Pittsburgh um, and went to AIP, um, the Art Institute and met my husband like and going into my second semester of school and it was like love at first sight like music wise and just us together so yeah from there we just we was everywhere new york miami lived in atlanta for years and 
yeah so we've, we've been everywhere with our music and doing film work and like stuff like that too that's that's like amazing because you know it's so hard in this industry to be able to get a man to even like have our back so to yeah. have a husband who is a part of your team is yeah. like we want to commend the kings on here too because we're not just going to shout out the queens you know and commend the queens we're going to shout out the kings when the kings oh, are yeah. doing what they're supposed to do we're going to salute them on my show so big salute to him yeah, because my guess triple twenty thousand salutes to my husband because he's i wouldn't even be where i'm at like doing anything if it wasn't for him like he is like i call him he's my diddy <laughs> he's That's my sean diddy combs he period. like he pushes me pushes me like and he's just you know whatever he can do to support our family and we still follow our dreams at the same time because you know when you got kids and you're trying to follow your dreams it's it gets difficult but you need that partner to help push you so i push him he pushes me so. yeah, like, you, need, it. you need somebody with a foot up your butt like back in the yeah. days when we were kids we had our parents but when you get older and you become an adult, you don't have that same person to be like, you know what I'm saying? Get the hell out of bed. Get out. You're going to be late. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you're, it's all on you. Yes. And you have to be responsible enough and accountable enough to get out there and do what you got to do, even when you don't want to do it. So, and I think being a mom really forces us to have to get out there and do crap we don't want to do. Yeah. So when it comes to life, life, you know, it, it's it's easier because, you know, we think about that. You know, our, our mother instincts kicks in. Well, uh, you know, if you don't do it, you're going to kick yourself in the long run. Yeah. So do it. So um, I, I think it's good in, in, in an aspect because they keep us up on our toes. And if we're wrong, oh, my gosh, they do not hesitate to tell us, look, mommy. Yeah. I don't think that's right, you know. Yep. And that's <laughs> That's when you know you're raising good kids when they can actually oh. be like, oh, no. Mm -mm. Yeah. Just say that. No, mommy. Like, that's I can not see them doing that with us. I see them do that with, like, other kids. Like, I'm like, our, our kids are so good. And they're so talented because I'm just like, I love that we're inspiring them to want to do this, too. Like, our daughter, like, literally just before the show, I'm, I, my husband said I'm her muse. So I'm mm -hmm. trying on this shirt and she's sewing it on me and stuff. She's, she makes clothes and stuff, too. So oh. I'm like, I'm just so proud of her. She's doing such a good job. And they have their show too, the Monet Fresh Show on YouTube. They're hilarious. Oh, okay, so I, like, yeah. I, like I, I love that we're inspiring them to want to be entrepreneurs more than working mm -hmm. at a five. <laughs> Follow your yeah. dreams first. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm like that with my son. He's a little YouTuber. He's got himself a little um, channel on there called Foxy's Gaming. I think it's Foxy's Gaming Fans or something like that. And um. He just, you know, he loves it. And it's like, everybody's like, you know, why are you letting him do it? I'm like, man, I'm going to let him do what he wants to do. He's already been in the booth recording music, too. He's already got, like, three songs, and he let me help him with his third one so it could be a little, you know, more um, structured and stuff like that. And uh, he loves it. And I just, I don't push him to be in the studio. I just let him do what he wants to do. And then, yeah. you know, recently he's like, Mommy, I want to try out for a chorus for bands. And, you know, I was like, Go ahead, go ahead. You know, he takes piano class. Yeah. But kids, you know, you got to let them absorb. Definitely got to exactly. let them absorb and let them pick where they want to be. Definitely. Yes. You know, we were, that's what it, we always try to instill in them. Like, don't ever think that you have to leave home. Like, because we're all about, like, you don't ever have to leave home if you don't ever want to leave home. Like, whatever we need to do to support you, like, you know, my husband, like I said, he does everything. <laughs> like, was, like manager <laughs> stuff. He does graphics. He does everything. And he taught our kids how to edit their own YouTube shows. So, and we got them a green mm -hmm. screen and everything. So they will set up the green screen. They'll set up their ring lights or their box lights, and like, yeah. they'll, and then they'll edit the video themselves. And I, I'm just like, it's just amazing to sit back and watch them. Doing yeah, anything. take the tools and just create. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just love them seeing them doing. I'm like, I'm just like, you're just like a mini. A mini me. Me. like you're just like your dad, like it's like a little mini him. That's our mini me's. Yep, that's exactly. I look at my son and I'm just like, oh my god, yeah, he is so much. Like he looks like his father, but he's so much me. And I'm just like, oh lord, you know. And I'm like, oh, I can't block him. I gotta let him just be him. Yep, I think that, that's <sighs> us too. Our daughter is 
my husband and I think our son is more like me. Like he's more okay. like quiet, watches what everybody's doing. Like my husband and my daughter are like, hi, hello, I'm Monet. Hello, I'm C like <laughs> Yeah, yep, that's me. Back and see what you're gonna do first. <laughs> like, yeah, that's my youngest is me, and then my two, um, the older ones, they're both like you said, just sit back and, okay, let me check you out first because I don't know who you are coming up to me. But yeah, me and my my little one be like, hey, yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. What, what you doing? Right. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it's cool because it's like night and day. You know, and, and sometimes you enjoy the aspect, though, of your children. You enjoy the quiet ones where they're quiet because then you got the one that just don't shut up. <laughs> oh, it's, like, one the other. <laughs> it's like, can I think? But, oh, my gosh, we got to get into your music most definitely. Yes. First track. I thought about we would play this one right here. Um, the uh, Tell Me featuring Frizzy. Is that Frizzy or Yes, Frizzy. Okay, good. I said it right again. Yay, yes. that's two. Hey. <laughs> that's two for tonight. I'm on a roll. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, go ahead and tell me about that track. How'd you come up with this track right here? So this is actually um, a cover um, from uh, Groove Theory. Oh, okay. um, so I know, like, back, <laughs> that's so funny. We had been talking about the song, I think, since me and my husband first got together. And mm -hmm. when I first sang for him, he was like, man, your voice, like, you remind me of Ashanti, um, Janet Jackson. And then um, then he played this with Groove Theory. And I was like, he's like, your voice, like, and then we practiced it a couple of times. He's like, oh, my God. He was like, it feels like she's Ooh. singing, like, you just are in that same range. Like, he's really good at finding, like, help me find my sound. Like, he's like, yes, you need to be, like, in this pitch right here and sound like this right, like, you know, so yeah, this song mm -hmm. came about and it was just, it was a long time coming for the song. I just, I love it. 90s, I'm a 90s baby. So this song was like very fun for me. <laughs> I told my boss, I said, you know, and you can ask my boss. I was like, yo, and I told the other people, I was like, yo, she sound like a Shawnee. And they're <laughs> like, what? Yeah. And it's funny because I'm not going to be like, hey, boss. And I'm, and I'm gonna be like, you remember when I said that that she sounded like a shiny? She gonna be like, that's what even what her husband said. I told you, yeah, <laughs> I know it. Like I can pick them. Like when I heard you, I was like, man, she's a star. I was like, yeah, yeah. I, mean, yeah. I, I was like, like for I me, what put the icing on the cake was we had a TV show um, called The Pulse in Pittsburgh, and mm. we actually interviewed Chris Gotti. Um, mm. So like before the show started, we were talking about everything, and he was like, oh, you do music too? Let me hear something. So he played, it, and he was like. Wow, he was like, you remind me of Ashanti when we first found her. Like, it just like, wow. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, to be coming from you two after my husband's been saying that for so long, it just like, it just put that cherry on top. Like, I was like, this is something my husband's been saying like forever. And you are the one that found her. Like, and for you to be mm -hmm. saying that, I was like, that's a good compliment because <laughs> I definitely love her. Yeah, um, I heard it too um, when you were singing when I got the first one. Um, the first track that I wanted to play, I was that we we're gonna play tonight. I was like, yo, right in that beginning part, I was just like, oh my gosh, I sound like a shine. I was like, that's not her. I'm like, is that part of the video? And then I realized, no, it's her. And I was like, damn. <laughs> I was like, she can sing like that. I've, I've been telling everybody, I'm like, if you need a singer, I got one for you. Sound just like a Shanti. <laughs> that's what that's right. I've been telling Hit everybody. Me up, yeah. John um, music, yes, hit me up. Yeah, because <laughs> everybody wants somebody, you know, I just heard um, my boss say, he went, are you signed or no? No, so we, we have our <gasps> own label, our legacy oh, okay. um, empire. So we mm -hmm. ma mainly work like independently. But oh, okay. yeah, we can always, you know, definitely talk about Maybe. stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell my boss, because my boss is, me and my boss is talking, and I'm like, bro, boss. And he's like, she, she looks like she's probably signed. And I'm like, I'm going to ask him. I'm going to find out, because boss, I'm t I'm telling you, boss. I said, don't do a DJ self now with a Cardi B. Right. <laughs> All right. Don't regret it later. Right. So I'm definitely, yeah, I'm going to tell him. I'm definitely going to tell him. We're going to go ahead and kick off this song. This song right here is called Tell Me. And that's by, yeah, go ahead. Say, say, go, I'm going to let you announce it. Go ahead. Since so for the radio show. Go ahead. Yeah. So this is our song uh, by me, John Rochelle, featuring Frizzy. Tell me, 95. And I hope you guys love it. 
And you heard it here first on 91.3 The Plug. That's right, y'all. Let's get it. Uh, all legacy all shit. Legacy. Introducing the queen, John of the Shell. I've been doing my own thing. Love is always out of way. I'm having bad timing. Timing. To my great surprise, ever since I looked in your eyes, I had one question for you. Tell me if you want me to Give you all my time I wanna make it good for you Cause you blow my mind I promise boy that I'll be true You're the perfect mind So tell me if you want me to Yeah If you thought I'd sleep on this Boy you're wrong cause all I dream about Was our first kiss to make me feel like this And this is one opportunity that I can resist I know, boy, you wanna know the deal You are wondering if the words I'm saying are for real Cause you got more appeal than any man in this world And baby, I've got to know how you what i'm talking about girl you yes <laughs> i just saw my babies my babies are in the chat yes, I I like, that's my favorite song. <laughs> yeah I, well, I love it and that's what i'm saying when i heard i was just like and you're breathing i gotta work on mine but <laughs> anyways <laughs> when, at times when you go, i'm just saying <laughs> um we were yeah, our, our own breath when you're a singer it's oof, it's exercise you gotta exercise that voice every day when you're it's way mm. different than like rapping like so i had a rap song that's out too and i'm like i was like it was totally different recording that rap song than it was me singing i'm like oh it's like singing you got to break down everything like your three-part harmonies mm. your back vocals you're like you know it's like oh but yeah, yeah that's definitely one of my favorite songs frizzy he's been um a friend of ours for years like over a decade too i'm like he's from pittsburgh um okay. So, and then 
the producer was uh, Kay on the track. We met him. He's actually from Paris. Real young kid. Like we met him. Uh, my husband met him actually. Listen to some of his beats, and then he was like, "Send me like a couple of you guys a song." So my husband sent him like four or five of our songs, um, and he just like redid it and changed the beat up. And I was like, "Oh my god!" Like he made this sound so like <laughs> even more international than it already was. I was like, "He is amazing." So yeah. Kale on the track. I love him. Everybody sees him on Instagram. He's he's very, very talented. Yeah, Honestly, like um, <laughs> Yeah, um, people don't understand um the lung, you know, how you how you have to actually really condition your lungs to be able to sing certain things. Um with me, I've had my lung drop three times. So I don't right. have the lung capacity to be able to really sing the way I want to. Yeah, but I still sing, and right. um, I had done a singing song like I would say three weeks after I had dropped my lung. I was I was trying, you know, and and then I did I did good, but the breathing yes. part it, it it's hard when you have types of you know things that you have wrong with your lungs. Yeah. But just for a normal person to be able to do it is still an experience. But um, you know, it's a little harder for me because I have the lung problem, but. People don't understand that it's your delivery too. And when you have air coming out your throat, it has to sound right. It still has to be on key. It has yeah. to harmonize. And the way that you do it is so silky and so sexy and, and so professional that I'm just like, <laughs> I don't <don't> take notes. <laughs> like I really do. Like, you know, um, because sometimes I forget I'm so focused on you know the lyrics that you forget that you're everything that comes out your mouth is being recorded right <laughs> everything literally. <laughs> literally like so you know I, I i loved how you kept it right where you needed to keep it you kept it sexy you kept it um just like professional um it didn't sound off it, it didn't sound out of place um, but I love just how you catch the vocals, you know, um, just being a singer, because like I said, certain songs can be very hard uh, yeah. for vocalists to sing. And you nailed it. Like, as it, I, I thought I was listening to, you know, to her at first when I first heard it. So it, it took me a minute to put two and two, and two together. Did you sit there singing the damn song? <laughs> Like, uh, okay, Miss Music, I'm um, a little blah moment there, but um, yeah, that's her. <laughs> that's her. And then I was just like, wow, like, you know, and, and Shawnee's is not an easy person to pull off. Like, certain people yeah. in the industry are not easy to pull off, and they just have that sound, yeah, you know, that they're there's that's why they're stars. Mm -hmm. So, when I heard you and then your versatility, that's really what pops me off as a music AR is the versatility. Because then, your girl, you go in different markets, but yeah. you stick to one type of of, of lane, and you gonna stay in that lane. But when you on a multi lane highway, and it's yeah. going this way and that way, you know what I'm saying you're gonna get right. the most. And yeah, I love how you you got this type of music. You got the next that we're gonna play. I just I love the the adversity, the versatility. And like I yeah, said, usually message. usually every interview that I always get, they always say like, what you know, what type of music do you do? What's your genre? What's this with that? And I'm like, uh, all of the above. Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm doing everything. I have I feel like there's only really two things I feel like I haven't got to really touch in yet. And that was um, jazz and country. Like, but I feel like some of my songs have a little bit of jazz kind of feel in it. Like the Spanish song that I did, I feel like, you know, I feel like it's got a little bit of a jazz with a guitar in the background, but it also has like a Cuban, like, Puerto Rican sound like you know it's like a mixture of everything so I'm like anytime everybody asks me that question I'm like all genres because I want to do pop I want to do EDM I, I'm like everything <laughs> like, I'm like I want to do everything yeah because you know when you're listening to the radio like I, I kind of say that it's a little bit depressing at times when you do go to get um albums from people and it's kind of like the same the same yeah. thing over and over and I like the sauciness. I like to switch it up and, you know, get like a smorgasbord. So I like when artists do like to do that and, and 
you know, whip it up and, and try something different. So I think yeah. that gets in my ear at times too, when I could be listening to a song and I'm not really listening. And, and then I get like, I guess you catch me at a different time and I go to listen to it and I'm really listening and I'm like, whoa. How did I miss that the first time? How did I miss that part? <laughs> yeah, I did that recently. And I'm like, how did I miss this song the first time? Like, I'm, you know, sometimes we just, you know, we hear a song and it, it doesn't click. And then we'll hear it again. And it's like, hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, yeah. it's like, oh, somebody done turned on the lights on us. So, right? you know, <laughs> yeah. And it's like, whoa, I didn't, I didn't realize this song's really like deep. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. that's. You know, when I listened to you and I listened to how you were hitting your notes and everything, I was just like, bro, she's she's saucy. She's def yeah. she polished. I like her, but I Thank definitely had you know, I had to show you off. We got a lot of good comments coming in. Yes, mama. And your mama is Oh, super that's my baby. Yeah, she, she rocks. Rock. Right? You rock. You make me rock. Yeah. You rock, <laughs> She be going, <laughs> Mama be going on her interviews and telling everybody all about you. She got like ten minutes, and she's like four or five minutes into the kid, right? But you know, yeah, we gotta be proud of our babies, though. And, yes. and yeah, she's already told us you got a, a YouTube show, so we have yes. to check that out. It's actually, yeah, their their cool. link right there, the Monet Fresh show that they were okay. Oh, somebody says, okay. "Oh, you do shows." I wonder if you're. Yes, I do. That's the one thing I definitely feel like I'm good at, like. From the first day my husband put me on stage, like I did not get nervous. Like, I don't care if it's my first time on stage. I'm like, I, I'm that person where I'm like, I don't get those butterflies. Like, I'm like, oh God, no, I can't do this for all these people. I'm like, I got butterflies. Like, give me that microphone. <laughs> like, I'm ready to go. And like, literally, our first performance was like maybe two hours before we were going on stage. We we're doing the Faded Fest um, in Pittsburgh. And I we just found out two hours before I went on stage that I was pregnant with our daughter mm -hmm. and I had such the worst sickness, like all day morning sickness. Like it wasn't morning. It was morning, evening, midday. Like it was terrible. <laughs> and I remember I was so sick. My husband was like, are you sure you can do this? And I was like, I'm going up there. <laughs> I got right up there. I'm th the video is actually still. It's so funny to watch it too, but it's still on YouTube. It's uh, the single was called, are you ready? That was my first single ever. And it was oh, like the top three on reppghiphop.com in Pittsburgh. Mm. And it was my first single ever recording. We literally were just like laying in bed and I'm like, he played this beat for me and I just kept hearing, so tell me, are you ready? And I'm like, he was like, wait, do that again? <laughs> and then it was like, are you ready? This came about and we went to the studio. I'm in the studio lost. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. But he's like, just sing in your regular voice. Don't try to blow crazy you don't just get what is going to get the first track down just sing just sing regular like like you're not trying to push yourself or anything so i was like that was like my first experience in the studio and then a week and a half later we're performing on a huge stage for the fate of fest and i was like oh yeah this is where i'm mm -hmm. supposed to be <laughs> like, right to be so comfortable i mean yeah. like I, 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 with my shows, I'd be pretty comfortable, but I could call into like somebody else's show and girl, I'd, I'd be shaking and <laughs> stuff. I'm like, oh my God, what's wrong with me? Like, I'm yeah. just calling in a line and it's just, I don't know what it is. And I get a little stage yeah. fright. So I think real. hosting, like getting used to being on camera and doing interviews on blogs or live like this or like anything, I think I got so used to because my husband, when he started our, um, the show the pulse in pittsburgh mm -hmm. um with brett and like when he put me on there and he's like come on you're gonna go in here too and you're gonna start interviewing people and you know i was like i was like i don't know what questions to ask i don't know what to say do i do like do i look fat do i like what do i do with my hands like i was like i'm like i don't know what to do myself but i feel like him putting me in that it just really got me comfortable and he always preps me like whenever we're doing interviews like for any questions or whatever. And I'm just like, he's just like, just be yourself. That's what he always says to me, be yourself. You don't have to put on this persona. And I'm that person, even being crazy and like being in this industry, I'm like, I will never change. I will always be John Rochelle and no one, no LA, no Hollywood, no nothing, <laughs> no label signing, no nothing. Like is going to change who I am inside and who I am on the outside. I might be beautified <laughs> with hair and stuff, but 
the person inside on the outside that you talk to is going to be the same John or Rochelle that you're seeing right now. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. That's Which what you I can... pride myself in is being 100% me in our music, on interviews, in person, like everything. I'm just me. Mm -hmm. You can definitely see that in your music. Me watching, um, because I grew up modeling, so it's like I was always taught to see to remember what they see in their camera so i have the eye and i was watching you like when you're doing your music how passionate you are and it's it's you know refreshing to be able to see that type of passion because you see it in other great artists mm -hmm. so to know that you can feel it like that and, and give a performance that is going to leave us not to forget is priceless you know, so I definitely want to get into your next song because we've definitely been chill chatting and right. I want to show them, right? <laughs> Girl, I want, I'm going to let you decide. Do you want to do the, um, the, the slower, meaningful song or do you want to come out with the raw diva? We can, we can do the raw diva and then slow it down for him. <laughs> there you go. We, we, Y'all, we're going to about turn up. We yep. are going to turn up. And while this is going to go right here, we're going to go ahead and like run the comments so everybody can see the comments that are coming through. If Even if you're not watching the live chat, we're going to pop them up. But let me tell you, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you definitely want to stick around for this one because, boy, we about to turn up. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm, girl, tell them I'm about to drop this banger. This is called a uh, bag talk. Yes. And the video just released. Um, we just had our video release party last, was it last weekend? My days are so messed up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we just dropped this, had our video release party, and man, I'm like, I just, I love this video. It's very sexy. Yeah. Very, like, I was just a little talking my stuff, like talking smack a little bit, but I just love this video. All my girls are in this video, and I love every single one of them for showing up. Like, I just, it was, it was such a good time. Like, this was probably one of the best video shoots. <laughs> that we had that besides the one we did our rock band like this was this was fun so i hope you guys love it bag talk if you brought that bag like we are then you're gonna love this mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god we're about to turn up we're about to they don't even know they do not know Look, don't even make me start twerking <laughs> no they do not know this is the first video i ever seen of you and i was like who the hell is that i was like Girl, I was like, oh my God. I was like, making the stallion got to run for her money right there. <laughs> yes, Thanks, people. Yeah. She did it like that. We're about to watch this. All right, yo. Yes. Just go ahead and check it out. This is 91.3, the plug, and this is the music shop with Miss Music. We're about to kick it off. This is called Bag Talk. Ah. <laughs> Shit, 
what you bag, bitch. Hey, I'm talking bag talk. Got the bags in the back. What you got? Got you mad, bitch. I'm lit, bitch. You not? I'm talking bag talk. I get your nigga on my dick. He buy me diamonds on my wrist. Come here, boo. Give me a kiss. I'm talking hey, bag talk. Yeah. Yeah. That was like, bro, as soon as I seen that, I was like, oh, yeah, I like this bit. I'm like, oh, yeah, like this was another like, one riding in the car. We was playing, he was playing a beat. We always, it's either in the car or we're laying in bed and we hear some like dope beat. Like, somebody, because we have so many producers that we work with, and I'm like, they'll send us stuff like, let me just think about this. Oh, we heard this, and I was like, I'm talking about, like, oh, I was like, oh, yeah, this is about to be the, sh this is about to be the shit talking song. Right here. <laughs> like, and that was my husband, by the way, um, DJ Cena Bugatti. I'm like, he like, oh, he just a lyricist anyway. Like, I just can't stand him sometimes. He's just so talented. It just makes me sick. <laughs> like, right? I know. You'd be like, oh, why is it the man always going? Mm. Yeah, like, he's the yeah. person that can be like, he ain't gonna get on the song, and then he'll get on the song and he won't write nothing down. Like he'll just be like, uh, all right, just just hit hit record. And he'll go on there and it, this is what comes out from it. <laughs> I right? think this was a freestyle, actually. I think he was just like, oh, let me th just throw something on here real quick. I'm like, you did more than just throw something on. They're like, you killed it. <laughs> like, yeah, how do they remember it is what I'm wondering. I have yeah. to hold the paper there at the beginning and like, until I know my material. Yes. And I, I heard it. Like, it takes me, if we practice the song for a couple of weeks and we just like finally got in the studio, then I'm a little bit okay. But I even like, my phone is right there. Like, and I have it set up like right there so I can like just in case if I need to reference anything and I want to mess up <laughs> like you just like a one taker I'm like you get on my nerves <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I started carrying around a little um voice recorder so if I wanted to I'd pull it out my purse and just get the recording oh yeah there's so many recordings on both of our phones where it's just us humming <laughs> I got that too on my phone now even though I I gotta master out the recorder so now I'm on my phone. I'm like, I gotta get another one. Yeah, so I'm like, like, I gotta oh, have just... the biggest uh, storage thing in there because I'm like, I, there's too much stuff on our phone. <laughs> yeah, that's that's my problem on either one of them. 
I'm yes. like, oh my lord. But yo, you killed in that song. I was your girl. I was just like, wow. Yeah, he you was know? my husband was like, we should throw something because the beginning, we, he kept being like, I hear something like melodic at the beginning, like, and then let that beat drop. Like, it's like, if you really listen to the song, it sounds like it's like four, like three different songs in this one beat. Like, it starts off like, you know, with the Whitney Houston um, cover at the beginning, and you're like, oh, okay, it's about to be a song like that. And then that beat drops, and you're like, Wait, we weren't expecting that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then the beat right. changes up again, and it goes yeah. into, into his his. I'm like, oh my god, this song is just like this. This is our song. Like when I'm like turnt and want to have some fun, like we're on a show. This is the song right here. I'm like, <laughs> it's like when I want to just take the house. Yes, when I, I want to take the that house, dance floor, turning up, drop that like, bad bitch. Mm -hmm. Yep, drop that <laughs> diva song. That's my Meg my Megan Thee Stallion, my Cardi yeah. B. Like, yeah, girl, turn up you could compete. I'm telling you, <laughs> that Thank song you. was killer. I am like, I love. It's like, like he's like, um, one of our uh, fans said that was watching, and he was like, "Yo, I'm gonna put this in my playlist." Like, oh, thank I've you. already done that. It's in my playlist. We got the music shop playlist. It's up there. So if y'all yeah, want to check it good. out, you missed it. You can go right now. No, but you better wait till the show's over before you do that. But anyways, right. you can go and you're right. You can go check it out at the um, music shop playlist. I definitely have all the songs that everybody's been on, Thank and I have you. a few extra ones thrown in. Yeah, no problem. That way they can find you. Um, they don't have to really go searching. I figured, you know, hey, I got a music. Yeah, because my name is very hard. Like they hear John, they're like, oh, J O H N N A. J-O-H-N-A. <laughs> like, I'm still I'm still trying to get it right. And I haven't said it a few times. I wanted to say it and I stopped myself because I'm like, Marlene, don't you mess it up, Miss Marlene. Yeah. My mom don't decided to make me so different. Like she was like, No, we're not spun this like everybody else does. You're unique. Which thank you because I I feel like I'm unique. <laughs> like mm -hmm. especially music and stuff. I feel like that's why I feel like me and my husband, like I just love performing with him. Like we just me and him have a chemistry that I feel like it's hard for me to have with anybody else on stage. Like we get up there and people are like, oh my God, you're like his, his, uh, my mother-in-law, she always is like, you guys are my Jay-Z and Beyonce. Like you mm -hmm. guys are just like, you guys get up there and you're just like, Psh, we got this. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. She's like, your chemistry up there is uh, just amazing. I'm like, yeah, I, I love performing with them. We have a ball. And, and that's what's good too. Cause like, um, back in the days, like I, I like to watch some singing shows every once in a while they have them on and, um, I'll watch Nashville and when they would perform sometimes, you know, the chemistry that they had on the stage, even though they were acting, they still give you a performance. And I would just to be like, you know, I know it's a show, but damn, you know what I mean? They kind of make me want like, want to get in there. And then yeah. I've seen other people, you know, even, um, just people doing performances and they're just so like, Oh my God, like just in the sauce, in the mix that it, it can't help but to center you into what they're doing and just appreciate how they're so passionate and showing us um, this passion that we can literally see as they're yeah. singing. And it's just like, wow, you know, it's like, I wish I could do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I, feel like yeah. I, I noticed that it was unique when, like, literally, when we first started doing shows and stuff, like, he would have me in so many different spots. Like we would be like in Homewood, like in the hood in, in Pittsburgh and it'd be nothing but rappers. And this is before we had back talk. So like all the songs I had, like, are you ready? And uh, round two and hypnotize. Like they all were like this nineties, like R and B vibe. And I'm watching all these rappers get up there and I'm like, I'm going to get them perform. They're going to be like, what is she doing? <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> rapping. We're turning up. And I'm like, Oh God. Like, I'm like, what am I going to do? And then I get them, and then they're all, my husband's like, just listen, like, I know what I'm doing. And I get them performing, they're like, whoa, like, you just, like, you turned this whole place around. <laughs> He's like, mm -hmm. I'm putting you everywhere. I'm putting you in the country, like, white clubs with rock bands. I'm putting you in the hood. I'm putting you with the EDM stuff. I'm <laughs> like, and it works. I'm like, you definitely, like, you put me everywhere. <laughs> like, I love mm -hmm. that you and I see my other sister, Kendra. Hi, baby. Hey, In baby. Ohio, is music. I see you, too. <laughs> yeah, salute to everybody that's tuning yes. in. Um, and you do do that. You do do that because, like I said, when you, you know, we went from me hearing your, you know, beyond, I mean, your um, 
like you said, mixed stallion or something. But it, it's the genre, okay? Um, <laughs> the genre flavor. All right. Um, yeah, and then, you know, we got the slow me out, you know, and then we got this next track. Mm. That's coming up. And this next track is totally different from the other two. And it's just like, when I seen that, I was just like, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then I, I watched the message in it and the way y'all put it together. And I was like, y'all really felt it. That, it, it, you know, I, I, I had to make a video recently that was, you know, it's on the topic. It's not your video, but it's on the topic. Mm -hmm. And um, after watching yours, I was just like, that's exactly, you know, kind of like how I'm going with it with, with, you know, with my song. But the way you did it, you did it live. You basically recorded as you were performing live. And I love the way you did it because it was like more sentimental because it was like more grounding with the yeah. nature around you with people around you and um the way you put it together the presentation i would say is definitely got the message across um mm -hmm. left images in the head and i think that when we're listening sometimes we're waiting to hear that specialness about a song or that infamous message <coughs> excuse me so it was you know it was great to be able to see how you put it together to be able to where I think by the end of it, I felt you so much. I had goosebumps. Oh, and, and I, I was that. just like, you know, yeah, I was just like, wow, you know, it's really touching. And then what you're saying, um, how you delivered it, you know, your message of, of us, you know, trying to stand up for our rights um, and people out there that are fighting the injustices against them. Um, yep. We are all trying to stand up for something, right. you know, we got to stand up for something or we're going to fall for nothing. Exactly. But I, I, I thought it was great to be able to um, listen to you, be woke about it and mm -hmm. um, speak your mind about it and make a video that people can actually feel, resonate yes. with and um, be inspired by, definitely inspired by to, to it made me feel like, you know, like the song I did wasn't, you know, because it wasn't just a song, but it made me feel like because you did your song and, and it's similar that it's just like, wow, you know, we can relate. We can understand. We, we're yeah. getting a message out and it's meaningful and it, it's not about us. It's not about our music, but we're using our music or our voice to be able to send our message out. Yeah. And it has to be a message. And I don't, I think that if they feel it or they get goosebumps like I got off of a song that we've got our message across. Yeah. We've delivered it well, oh girl. We've yeah. we've delivered it well enough. And I, yeah, think, I that think that our music should um, inspire people and help people and get them to uh, be a little more open, um, yes. even with the music or their voice, you know, and, and standing up for themselves because I think a lot of people don't because you know, they just, one, don't want to be center of attention, or two, they don't want to be in the mix. And it's right. like, sometimes you've got to get out there and get in the mix. And yeah. you did it in a certain way that's professional. It's proper. And um, a lot of people out there, I think, that are going to play it. And even if they don't like rock music, like, so what? Listen to it. Yeah. Understand the message and realize that it's just a message that's going out. And it's compassion and yeah. empathy that we're being reminded of that we need to have for one another and not just that but for where we live yes. our environment. <laughs> one thousand percent i have so like i have black and puerto rican in my family so i'm like it touches every ethnicity and every genre in the song because you, you feel a little bit of rock you feel a little bit of like popish you feel a little bit r&b you feel that hip-hop mm -hmm. like i feel like this this song gives you like just a little bit of everything in it but mm -hmm. it has a very strong message because yes we know during this time when the song was released this song was very relevant to what was going on in america at that time um with brutality so i'm like it i feel like this song really 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 took off when we dropped it and when we dropped the, the visual with it the video it like it really blew up like i loved it like a lot of the message too with alex the kid like it, it's 
yeah, this was definitely a fun, fun video. And we also shot this video in a 200 <clears throat> year old uh, military cemetery. Mm. So every stone that was there, it was like a, like a military base one. And it was like over like 200 years old. So it was, yeah, this video was just, it came out amazing. <laughs> You ever watch those movies and like when you get done, you're like, let's go. Like, I, I want to do that. You know, like I, yes. I want to start a revolution. I want to do this. You know, it gets you hyped to want to move. That's what yeah. this song does to you. It makes you want to get up and be like, no, I'm not going to take it no more. Yeah. <laughs> this song, you want to be like, okay, we done. I know this took us like 18 hours to shoot, but. I'm ready to shoot another video. <laughs> I was so hyped after this video. I was like, let's shoot another, let's do a photo shoot. Let's do, like, I had so much energy after doing this. Like, it's just, I love, I love, and performing this song live, we did too for mm -hmm. an event. And it, I mean, the turnout and the feedback that we got at this event when we performed this live was like, almost brought me to tears. Cause I was just yeah. like, the love we got from performing this was like, it's one thing, you know, on social media and everybody sharing this video, but it was like live people that showed up that came to the city. Like I was like, wow. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just so glad everybody heard this message and understood where we were coming from and what this song and this video and everything meant to us. Cause this was a very strong song and it meant a lot to me. It meant a lot to my family to really do this song. Mm -hmm. Very patriotic too. Like even though the, the message was delivered you still kept it very patriotic. And I like that because um, you stood for everybody, not just for one person, like you said, yep. you stood for everybody, which made it so patriotic that I just thought it was beautiful. And y'all did a great job. And I love the mixture. We are about to hear it. It's called American Funeral. If y'all don't know what this song is, you about to find out, you about to check it out. We're going on a whole different vibe with this song. Like she said, it's got a message. Definitely listen to the words. Got a little bit of rock going in here. I love it. Like I said, you are so seasoned. You are so polished Thank that you, you pulled the song off perfectly. Don't change Thank nothing. You. Keep doing what you're doing because I'm loving it. I don't Thank care what you. everybody else say. I'm loving it. <laughs> She's like, I don't care. I love it. And this is my first time doing a rock song too. So this was another one that was a little bit different for me. And it definitely pushed mm -hmm. me like when it came to my vocals like especially with doing this live i i was like oh man like i i was exhausted like <laughs> after doing this Lunch. song stage like it, it took so much out of me like to do this song and like but i was like it was so worth it and i know when you mm -hmm. play this song my kids are probably downstairs having a fit because this is one of this is oh my god they love this song and all of our kids are also in this music video. So our twins um, and then our, our youngest two, they're all in this video. So it was like the whole family kind of got involved. Our friends mm -hmm. and family, like everybody was in this. So yeah, this was very yes, special. Good. Oh, well, let's go ahead and turn it up, everybody. This yeah. is going to be, uh, and this song, it comes off. Uh, now, don't you have this on an album? Yes, this know, will be cool. on the, the mixtape, the Sex and the City mixtape that will be dropping soon. This song will definitely be on there. Mm, see y'all, you almost missed you got <laughs> mixtape dropping soon. So yes. that means you have to get the mixtape so you can get every single song. Yes, and the John yeah. Rochelle and the, R the RLE, Our Legacy Empire uh, merchandise is also going to be dropping on our website soon. So keep following us on there. I'll have the stuff on our YouTube channel. I go live and stuff too. So when that drops, I'll let you guys know because you guys got to get some Our Legacy and John and Rochelle and Cena, you got to get all the merch. <laughs> Oh, girl, she got merch. Oh, I know you got some <laughs> cool stuff up in that thing. Yeah, you have to definitely drop us that link when you get that all sorted yeah. out. That's for sure. It's going to be hot. So, yeah, y'all to check this out. This is going to be our next track. Um, I don't even know what to say except, let's see. Yes, American what Funeral. What is it? American Funeral. Yes. Woo, here we go. I'm just making sure I got the right one, girl. <laughs> Although I don't mind listening to your tracks twice, but I don't know everybody's waiting for this American Funeral. Yep. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Make sure I got it up in the... Nope, I don't. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let's yeah. get it.
Okay, okay. <laughs> Got struck by the lightning over here, everybody, but I am back. Thank God for the hotspot. We are down on internet, but yeah. I'm ready to replay that song. Girl, you see me get struck by lightning over here? <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, I thought I was like, did something happen? Did we just go out or something? I was like, did I pull a fuse with this, uh, our box? We got our box lights and stuff set up. I was like, oh, shit. I'm like, this thing done. Put the power out. <laughs> wow. it, it took my power. My power. Uh, we got a storm going on right now. So we're right in the middle of a thunderstorm. Even my, um, my lights are out. I haven't got a chance to get them back up, but I'm not even going to worry about it. We had to rewind that song because when we were getting into it, oh man, I'm getting goosebumps and all of a sudden the crack it's snap back and pop. And I'm like, and then I'm like, oh my God. And I'm sitting there waiting. I said, you know what? I cannot sit here and wait. This be the second time this done happen with this damn storms. So I'm going <laughs> to log on hotspot and I'm going to have to get jump right back on here and get going. So, oh my gosh, we're going to go ahead and replay that y'all. Hang in there. It's okay. When it goes to Roku <laughs> TV, you won't even notice it happened. You'll never see it. It won't even right? exist. <laughs> and if I want to, yeah, I'm really cool because what I'll end up doing is pulling it down and fixing it. But let's get on to the music. Yeah, I still got the song up. Thank God. It it um, <laughs> it took my computer out there for a second, but it stayed on, so I still got the link and everything. But yeah, let's go ahead. I'm gonna have to share yes. it. Let's let's listen. We gonna rewind again. We like that song, anyways. But I'm gonna yeah. get to the comments too, y'all. So just hang on. <laughs> We're yes, gonna make this and work. shout out DJ Richbone. Yeah, shout out. <laughs> DJ, well, you said Wishbone? Uh, Rishbone. Rishbone. Okay. Yes. Well, nice to meet you. I'm not good with yeah, it. He's here in Ohio, too. All right. All right. Yeah. So let's go ahead and let's get this on. Oh, my gosh. It's Florida weather. I'm telling you. Man. We get crazy <laughs> storms. There, <laughs> I'm for real. Like, you, you don't like the weather? Just wait a few minutes. It'll change. Look, right. I even rewound it. I got ready. All right, people. All right. No, don't you do that again. You're blinking. I see you blinking. Stop. <laughs> if it happens again, I'll be back. I'm a trooper. Yes. You ain't going to get me out of here like that. We'll play it three times. Right? <laughs> yep. They're going to get tired of hearing it. We're going to play it out. We're going to yeah. play it out. Mm -hmm. Here we go, everybody. Let's get in. 91.3 to plug. Mm. Give me my freedom, my freedom, my freedom. Run from these demons, these demons. Please don't give them a reason, a reason to spill blood on my sneakers. So I just put my hands up, then they put me in handcuffs. They just scared the clothes. Give me my freedom. 
It's America, baby. Yeah, Willis, what up? Yeah. Uh, well, listen, as we speak, survivors in your streets with zombies everywhere. Crooked as police. And Trump yes, don't want no peace. Bombing overseas. So Wall Street can eat just blood on the lead. Obama didn't make a change for me. And red and blue fighting like things to me. Feeling political parties are not for me. Rather go to the studio and kill a beat. And I ain't never been your slave, boy. I just manifest equity paid for. I envision the life of a world tour. Couple kids. Model wife better than yours. That's the American dream, American death. I don't know how much America's left. My generation was filled up with stress, and the next one is worse, and they can't so much less. We be hurting here, that's a study here. Poverty, pain, even solitaires. Drown them away with the drugs and beer. Social media keep us in fear. And freedom ain't free if you broke on the budget. This land don't give nothing, that's why we stay hustling. Snatched it from natives, like give me that fucking man into the motherland. This place of Africa. No so one ain't conscious, they power up melanin. They lick the stores and bring drugs where they live in. Take that away and then raise the boys feminine. Build some new prisons, all new slaves can live up in. This world that we live in, this world that we live in. The fuck is wrong with this cool world that we live in? It. Fuck is wrong with this cool world that we live in? It. America! The beautiful America! The murderer! America, 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 gosh Every like time. i love it yeah i know my hair is just sticking like straight up oh my gosh and, and right at the end and, and and i'm so glad we got to play it again i'm definitely gonna yes. have to handle that by before tomorrow back too. <laughs> yeah like you know a little little rain you know a little um you know lightning uh, is not gonna get miss music to stop because you know right. it's been doing that crap my whole life it would rain <laughs> and piss and all that on my damn birthday every <laughs> year so like you know it's kind of like i i try to see it as just refreshing so um it's like okay well let's just restart this again it wanted to hear your song twice i can't you know i can't believe right. it it's a great Got song, it definitely. <laughs> I love, right? I know, but um, I definitely want to say I, I appreciate you coming on. Um, it's great to see your family involved. Salute to all of them; they're all incredible. Your husband, everybody's amazing. I'm um, so like I feel so blessed that I got to be able to meet. All you know, all of y'all know I didn't get to really meet the kids, but they're in the chat. They're in the chat. Okay. Yes. Um, but yes, and I'm pretty sure I will definitely come across them along the way. Um, you know, let your little girl, yeah, like have your little girl come on next time when I bring you on. Oh, bring her yes. up. She, I know she was singing. Yes, she's got How actually know two that? songs that we're gonna have on the We're gonna have to bring her up. Group, so well, well, let's yeah. book an appointment then. Yes, let's definitely sure. set her up an appointment. I can, I can try really hard to keep the body milk to a minimal. Right. <laughs> and she hears it word from me. Like I said, I have Spanish and black in my family. So <laughs> she's yeah, that Spanish. puerto Rico will come out real quick, but like, yes. you know what I mean? And then you come like, out really wrong. Mm -hmm. oh, we're That's so ah. Hello, Hello beautiful. Hello, babies. Yes. Y'all are so, so fresh. beautiful. Hello, nice fresh. to meet this you. Monet. Hello, Monet. I heard you singing with mommy, and yeah, girl, you next. I know she's <laughs> yes. gonna be in the back next. Yeah, yeah. Also, how we got me and her have a song together that's going on the album, and then there's also a song that she's writing um, for me that is gonna be on the album oh. as well. So she's talented. This is our this is our comedian right here. This guy, fresh. I would love fresh. it. Oh, fresh. You you the funny guy, huh? Yep. Yep. See, oh, like, I like yep. that. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's so cute. But I love that. Y'all all got a spot in mommy's world. So just enjoy it. Forever. Just and enjoy always. it. Yeah, mommy, mommy's like really talented. So y'all definitely pay attention. Listen to mommy, because mommy will show you exactly how to do whatever you want to do. Okay. Yes. All right. God bless y'all. Thank y'all so beautiful. I'm so happy for you. Y'all could do anything in this world. Anything you want to do. That's yes, what I, I, every day that's what we tell them every day like 
you can do whatever, whatever you want to do with your life will support you no matter what. <laughs> like, I don't care what it is you want to do. Let's go. Especially being a gamer. Yeah, he wants to be a gamer too. He loves gaming. He wants to design his own games and stuff too. Yeah, there's there's yeah. nothing wrong with him. My son does, um, right now he does, um, I think he's like a moderator for, um, uh, for uh, Minecraft. And he used to be a moderator for Roblox before they decided to make it, you know, adult. So if he could do that, oh, and he's yeah. 10. If he could do that and he's 10, so yeah. is he. then you see, I'm telling you, you probably like my son. I have to get him to, if you look on my, um, my YouTube page and my featured channels, my son's channels up there is Foxy, uh, Foxy's Gaming. Foxy's Foxy's gaming. Gaming yeah, I think it's Foxy's Gaming Fan. And he does, he, he's, you know, he's got his own little thing, but he takes his little figurines of Five Nights at Freddy's and all that. And he does little, you know, little skits and stuff. That's him right here, too. <laughs> he he's thing. too cute. He's got some music, too. Yeah, he's got some music, too. He's got a song on there called Five Nights at Freddy's. And then he's got another one. Um, but yeah, y'all should check it out and, um, you know, become friends with him because I know he's looking for subscribers. Foxy's and he's Foxy's your age, gaming. too. Yeah, they're yeah. exactly the same. He just turned 10, what, about a week ago, on the 28th of August. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah he, he does the same thing. His pets, he does these little funny, like, little skits and stuff with his pets and stuff, too. So, I'm like, yeah. 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 And sometimes, because I'm playing, like, yeah, with my pets, uh, yeah, sometimes, yeah, yeah, I make myself laugh. Yeah. Yeah. He'll be cracking up the stuff. He can't even get out what he's trying to say. <laughs> I'm like, if you want, I swear. <laughs> My son's a character too. Y'all funny nowadays. Yeah. Yeah, real funny. I like that. Very humorous. You know what? You know what's the best thing to do is make people laugh. Because you know what? People when the people laugh, you know what it does to them? Makes them feel good inside. Yes. Makes them feel real special. So if you can always crack a joke for somebody, everybody will always like you. Mm -hmm. It brings you good vibes. <laughs> Well, I just, I love the fact that I got to meet you. And like I said, now I got to meet your family. Thank God. They're out of yes. chat. Hello, babies. Yes. God so bless we're, we're you. We're your way, too. So we yeah, definitely got to We got to get your daughter up for her little prime time. We going to make it work. Yeah. Yeah. You ready to be on camera? Yeah. You're going to come looking like a princess, right? I want you looking like a star. Oh, yeah. We're going to be, gonna be, be like Willow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's going to, it's going to look fancy. Fancy. Yeah. Fancy. Yeah. We're going to do it big. Well, I love y'all and I hope y'all have a wonderful yeah. night. It was nice meeting you. And, girlfriend, you just keep doing your thing. The music will sell itself. Your talent will sell itself. I, I just can't wait to go, Brag. I got to go take this video after I fix it. I got to go take this <laughs> and that. Yeah, doctor it up and just make it all Gucci Gucci, but oh lordy mercy, definitely we'll have you on next time. I love y'all. Yeah. Everybody, thank thanks for giving so us your comments anytime. Everybody, thanks for the comments. Um, yes, hopefully you got some all. Um, if I didn't, we'll go run right through the last ones. Everybody's loving. See, everybody's loving the music. I mean, see, they're like play it again. There you go, yeah. play it again. Oh, we got Judd Jones in the house. Yeah, that's our moderator. Shouts out to him. He's uh -huh. loving it. Yeah, he's loving loving the music. He's loving the kids. He's loving the jokes. So definitely keep up what you're doing. But hey, yeah. everybody, this has been the music shop. We've had on Jana uh, Rochelle. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, she's like, I said it right. Yes. Amazing, very <laughs> amazing music. Yes. Great woman. Um, super mommy, super Thank mommy. You. Make sure you check her out, run up the yeah, likes, get comments on there. I want to see likes going up. I want to hear comments. I want y'all to go and spread the music. Let people yeah. know little Ohio out there. This is what they bring in. They're bringing stars and you wouldn't even yes. know there. Yes, so definitely We're follow us on all social media. Um, you can follow John and Rochelle Music on Instagram. Um, Facebook, Snap, everything, um, RLE TV on YouTube. Make sure you follow um, our business pages and stuff, our Legacy Empire on Instagram. DJ Sunny Bugatti, because my husband also is very talented. He just dropped a couple songs actually on his Instagram um, just the other day. So yeah, make sure you guys check us out. And yeah, we're going to keep yeah. doing this forever. And before you yeah, go. it's a family affair. I always be telling everybody with Miss Music, is it always a music affair? So we yes. got the music family in the house tonight. What are you gonna say before what? Yeah, before you go, yeah, yeah, you have, you have. 
you have to subscribe to the Monet Fresh Show. Yes. Yeah. You, yeah, subscribe to the Monet Fresh Show yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, because they'll be making shorts and yeah. videos. Yeah, yeah, they make shorts, they make videos. Yeah, Why they make shorts? Though? Very, very talented. We also, we also do play Roblox, too. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell my son to um he can yeah he's probably he might be watching right now because sometimes he watch mommy's shows but um yeah I'm definitely gonna tell him to subscribe to the Monet Fresh channel yeah Monet, Monet Fresh Show yeah Monet Fresh Show yep I'm gonna write that down most definitely yeah. definitely oh I just love it it's a great interview like I said I look forward yeah. to it and I got more than what I bargained for even tonight I appreciate you, my beautiful queen. I hope you have a great night. God bless Thank everybody. You. Everybody, thanks for coming through. You heard her. Mm -hmm. Run up her stuff. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Get the kids. Don't leave the kids out. Can't leave the babies out. Yeah. And I'll see y'all next time, y'all, on the music shop. Say bye, everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> y'all have a great day, everybody. Thanks. Okay. Too. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye, baby. All right, everybody, you have watched it here live tonight. Great music, great content. You can't get anything more than that. But I'll see you next time. Later. I be stacking up chips like Lego. Badass bitch bag matching my stilettos. In it full of paper, same color as the gecko. I'm laying on the boat across the water where the deck low. Rolling up some petrol. I ain't got no service. Still, I got my metro. Don't need no disturbance. Drowning me, I let go. I'm floating to the surface. These niggas set you up slow and take you down on purpose. Facts.